Hello and welcome to the 25th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at playing a sound effect. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial free. If you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial and there'll be also a third link for the actual effect file we're going to be using which is this Colloid music for um, audio file so there'll be an individual link in case you just want the audio file and you want to do the code uh, via the actual YouTube video so let's just go to our project before we actually open it in Xcode we want to go to the resources folder in res we to create a new folder I'm going to call it sound you can call it whatever you want but obviously if you don't call it sound you just have to make sure you adjust the code in uh, when you code in the application. So it's going to drag and drop the Colloid file into the sound folder. Confirm it's there, yeah, it's there. So let's go back. And now we can just open up the project in Xcode. I want to go to myapp.js and at the top here, we uh, created a couple of new variables. First one is going to be called audio engine. Audio underscore engine. Colon, I'll we'll set it to null, semi I mean comma, and then we're gonna create an effect file variable, effect underscore file. Obviously you can call these whatever you want, but as usual if you, if you name it differently, you have to just make sure your coding is adjusted for that. Just put a comma, let's just sort out the formatting. Now you want to go to the bottom and here just after this, we want to actually initialize the audio engine variable. So I'm going to do audio engine equals cc.audio engine.get in instance, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, sort out the formatting, and now we can actually play the audio file. So first of all, we're going to initialize the effect file. So effect file equals res for slash sound for slash colloid dot wav and semicolon and now we can actually play the effect file so audio engine dot play effect open bracket effect file semicolon let's just sort out the formatting and then we'll play it Let's run it in the simulator. There you go, it played the colloid effect file. That is all you need to do to actually play an effect file. Let's play one more time. There you go, and thanks for watching.